Good to go, Rand. Perfect. Well, uh, thank you all again for joining us. My name is Mike Bevilacqua. I'm the Vice President of the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce. We've never held an event like this before, and we said, you know, why, you know, why not, especially during these COVID times, it might be a good way to let you, you the members, the people think about joining also, some, who, some people who are brand new members um, of the Chamber also, such as Ashley with E4Ever and Greg with Experimax. Uh, and Brian with the North End Restor Historical Society to, to learn more about what we do with the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce. So um, we're going to get into that in a second. I want to first introduce our, our moderator and, and, and first speaker of the day, uh, Trish Shabulis with AP Misha Insurance and Agency Inc. Trish, is a Trish and her family are long, long-term members of the Merrimack Valley Chamber. They've uh, been to a number of events, taken advantage of a number of uh, uh, opportunities. And then Trish went from being a member to actually be on the board of directors of the chamber and now is the chairwoman of the business development committee. So uh, who better to start this program than Trish? So Trish, I'll have you uh, start this program and uh, thank you again for joining us. Sure, thank you for having me. Good morning, everybody. New and prospective members. Um, thank you so much for having me today. I'm really excited to tell you about my journey with the Chamber of Commerce because like Mike said, you know, we've been longtime members and really have um, just, used every single benefit that the chamber has to our advantage. And it really has helped our business grow over the past years. So um, I'm just gonna kind of take you back to my very first networking event and go from there. And I promise it'll be quick, we're not going over. So 15 <laughs> years ago, um, I joined my fam family agency and the agency had been a member of the Merrimack Valley Chamber for a long time, but Trudy, my mother, she was not going to anything. She wasn't going networking. She wasn't going to any of the presentations. And so the very first thing I did when I joined the agency was saying, we have to go, we have to participate. And I had never been networking before. I definitely didn't know how to network. I definitely didn't know what I was going to do when I went to my first event, but we went. And as soon as I got there, an ambassador named Larry came over to us, grabbed our hands and made us feel comfortable and welcomed us into the chamber community. And I'll never forget his name because it was a really important part of my journey. And that was 15 years ago. And here I am today on the executive board of directors. Um, the chamber has been monumental in the growth of our agency. And I, I'm so grateful that I went to that very first networking event. The thing that I wanna to stress today is that a lot of people think a chamber of commerce is just networking and that's only one small piece of what they can do for your business. It's important definitely. And even if you're comfortable networking or you're not comfortable and I absolutely was not comfortable when I showed up for that first networking event, but today I am and every single chamber event I go to now, I welcome and you know, see old friends that I do business with, but I also know all about them. I know about their family. I know about their journeys. And that's just a really special portion of what you can do. But the chamber puts you in front of all of the Merrimack Valley professionals and business owners, all the way up to Salisbury, all the way over to Lowell. And on top of that, they just have a lot of resources for your business. So I'm not gonna tell you about those. That's gonna go to Mike and Rayanne, but I am gonna tell you that there are a lot of programs from, <laughs> I'm sorry, my two-year-old just broke into my room again. <laughs> I guess this is the joy of, uh, <laughs> hi everyone. So um, I totally lost where I am, but that's just the joy of working with them. There's the next generation programs, there's human resources, there's women in business, and it's all available to you. There's the social media. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Gonna... I, <laughs> I can take it from the Trisha if you like. I don't, I don't know what to do about this. I'm doing wrong. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Trisha. Anything else to add? Or from Lola. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's she's the shy one. That one. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna let them talk about it. But there are just so many more resources. The chamber is not just networking. And even from over the years, I see a lot of familiar faces here that I've gotten to know. And I hope that you consider joining today so that you can get to know us and we can get to know you. So thank you. Thank I'll you, pass Trish. it back to Mike and Ray. <laughs> we appreciate it. from you and Lola. So. 
Um, <laughs> thank you again. Uh, and Tr as Trish, as Trish said, you know, she's really grown with the chamber and, uh, you know, it's great to see how much her company is growing. They had a ribbon cutting um, la uh, uh, last year, it feels like last month, it was right before COVID hit. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's great to see how great the, you know, AP Media Show is doing. But again, I just want to say th thank you to Trish for her dedication to the Merrimack Valley Chamber and everything she does. Um, as she mentioned, you know, I think a lot of people associate Chambers of Commerce with ne network events. You know, the Merrimack Valley Chamber, we think we do it the best. We have, you know, in regular times before COVID, we'd have 100 in-person events a year. Now we're doing virtual, you know, after everyone's vaccinated and we can get back out, we're going to have back to in-person events as well as um, virtual events. And as Chris mentioned, you know, we believe in having, you know, you know, the networking events, we have morning networking, afternoon networking for lunch, and then evening networking also. But we believe in, in giving relevant, effective, and essential programs. So on top of the networking events, um, we also have a Young Professional Series, as Trish mentioned, a Women in Business Series, a Government Affairs Series. We bring the mayors and town managers from each city and state, uh, each city and town. Um, we have the uh, state representatives, the elected officials at those programs. We have an HR series. We actually have an event next week, a healthcare series. So it doesn't matter what business you, you are with. It doesn't matter what your focus is with your business. We're going to have a program that's essential, effective, and relevant, and timely for you um, each and every month. And each and every week, we have our own programs. And it's not like you have to, have to attend all 100 programs. You get to pick and choose which ones make sense for you. But the key is when you go, you're going to see a, a friendly face. It's not like we're, you know, the, the key about our chambers is we're not just pushing on, you know, you know, buy our products, sell our products. It's more about making that connection, making that, you know, friend that you can go to whenever you have a question. And we have some great people who, who help you with that. We have great ambassadors. I know Bill Kelly and I'm on the call today. I mean, I'm just going to ask you if you can just uh, mention some of our network, what, what happens in a networking event. And if someone hasn't been to one yet, whether it be virtually, which we're doing now, or in person, which we hopefully we'll be doing shortly, um, why they should attend one of those. Uh, sure. Um, thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, well, I think... Uh, Part of the reason why I joined the chamber is I'm the sales and marketing face of my company, my small company. And, you know, the chamber allows you through the networking events to meet other members, to uh, learn about what they do. You would get a, an opportunity to explain what you do. Uh, it's interesting that Tricia mentioned that her first meeting, an ambassador brought her around and introduced her. And I'm, uh, I jotted down what I, um, one of the things you said, Michael, is familiar face. So one of the roles of the ambassadors, uh, I think, is to make people feel comfortable when they initially join. And when you feel comfortable, that's when you can leverage all the other benefits that you talked about, that Trish mentioned, that the chamber provides. Um, so in our COVID world, we've uh, initially done a lot of speed networking and online networking. Uh, so it's a lot more challenging to get new members to kind of feel at home. But um, as ambassadors, we try and engage with them. Uh, we try and be a resource, uh, you know, someone just to um, call. I know I've, I've made some calls um, to kind of introduce the chamber to new members, uh, but but really, it's uh, as the word implies. Ambassador is to um, make people feel comfortable. Uh, obviously, the many benefits of belonging to the chamber are there, uh, and and it's just the initial uh, kind of onboarding and welcoming aboard. Uh, we we are doing in person events now uh, with social distancing. And as the vaccine um, is um, administered, hopefully we go back to all these events. Yes. Right? Um, but uh, the, the last thing I'll leave you with, um, new members, but also some members that maybe joined and kind of are not as active, uh, you, you need to socialize and network and utilize the programs and, and be part of the events in order to really benefit. Uh, so that, that would be one of the thoughts that I leave with. Uh, some of us have been members for a while, but you know, once you become a member, don't let, it, don't let your activity wane. Uh, continue to participate uh, as um, 
uh, you know, as, as you mature in, in your um, membership. Thank you, Armin. Appreciate it. As I mentioned, you know, it's great to see Bill here as well and Armin, you know, Armin, both ambassadors. You're going to see them at a number of events. You always go up to them and ask them questions. Uh, Bill's also part of our Veterans Committee also, which we will be having another Veterans event hopefully soon as well. So I just want to say thank you both for joining us in the call today. Um, and, you know, and, you know, I think as Trish was saying, you know, a lot of people think a Chamber of Commerce is strictly networking events. And if you're not going to take advantage of those, then, then why join? But the Merrimack Valley Chamber, we want to have something for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're going to go to an event or not. Um, we, we say go to them, you know, meet some people, or, you know, meet some people, um, build some connections. Um, but, you know, even if you never do a, a, attend an event, we have so many opportunities for you to connect, to grow your business, to, to just get your name, you know, create that awareness of who you are, what you have to offer, your products and services, that there's so many opportunities for all you. And we're going to go through those right now. Um, the first thing I just want to mention is that, you know, as a member of the Merrimack Valley Chamber, uh, you have the ability to post job openings, uh, event, community events, and also discount coupons on our website, MerrimackValleyChamber.com. Um, it's very simple to do. Rayanne, you want, you want to mention anything about that? Yeah, so what's great is we have um, a, job, a job board where we're able to have everyone list their members. And it's nice. I'm having people email me every day now saying, like, um, I have these job openings. I need to reach people. What can I do? And you post them on the, on the job board. And one of the benefits of being a member and posting on the job board is that then those jobs are posted to our social media. So they're going out to over 3,000 followers that maybe you don't have. So maybe it's a different connection and you might find the right person to get your, to fill that position for you. And then also with the discount coupons and the events, it's just, it's one more way for you to reach people that you may not already be reaching. So if you have maybe a coupon you want to offer for just Merrimack Valley Chamber members or even out to the general public. We have a special spot for that. When we're having events, whether they're virtual or in person, we have a special community calendar so that if Andy's hosting an event, he can post it on that page and it can reach even more people. So we really, really encourage everyone to do those. And I'm more than happy to send along instructions for anybody who wants them. I'm going to put my email in the chat. So feel free at any time to reach out to me. Yeah, and, and one thing I want to mention also is the Merrimack Valley Chamber, we were, you know, even through the whole COVID period, we had a full-time staff working each and every day. So if you ever have a question, just send us an email, give us a call. We'll be happy to walk you through those steps. You're not bothering us at all. We, we're happy to help you. So if you have a question, say, how do, you know, I don't really understand how to post that job opening. We'll, we'll walk you through it. If you still can't get it, we'll post it for you. So we're here for you, whatever, whatever questions you have. You know, Rianne, uh, myself, Mary Beth, and Joe, you know, we're here to help you with whatever questions you might have. Um, another thing I want to mention is that another way to really get your, your business or your service or whatever it might be, your, your, your promotion out there is through our email blast. And, you know, our email blast, we, you know, a lot of people say, well, how effective is it? Do you have stats? Well, I don't have actual stats, but I can tell you we sell at least one a day. We're booked over a month in, in advance and we have the same people coming back over and over and over again to, to, to purchase those. So those, you know, those are the stats I use about how effective they are. You reach out nearly 2,000 Merrimack Valley Chamber members and contacts, all locally, people that will actually use your products and services. And it, as I said, it's only, it's only $99 to send one of those out. Your first one comes complimentary with your mem membership. So if you're a new member, you're having to take advantage of that, contact us af after this, say, how do I take advantage of that email blast you mentioned? And uh, it's been very, very effective for those who used it. But again, for only $99, it's a member special only, non-members can't use it. And uh, it's a way of really getting your products, services, or promotions out, our specials to those uh, who may not be aware of it. It's again about creating that um, awareness of who you are and what you do. And coming from the Merrimack Valley Chamber, it also builds that trust that oh, this is a legitimate company, this is a legitimate product. So if you haven't used that yet, please let me know. If you're interested in scheduling one, as I mentioned, we're about probably two, three, or four weeks out right now. Let us know because uh, the sooner the better. Um, social media, I think everyone here is probably on social media now. I'm not a big fan of it, but you know, we love, we love to use it for our members and you know, Ryan, Ryan runs our pages. So we're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and now YouTube also. And I think one, one thing a lot of our members don't know is that we actually, we actually can share your, 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 your specials or your products out. Um, so Ryan, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Tell them, tell, tell the people on the call today, how they can take advantage of a social media share if they're a member. Yeah, absolutely. So it's great. You can just send me over um, whatever image it is that you want to use, whether it be on all of the social medias, um, or if you just have one or two, you would like it to go out on, and then any information you want with it. So I know um, they're on here, so I can 
say them, but the Misslewood events is used our social media where they had an upcoming event. And so they sent me the image of the event, sent me the details of the event. And then I was able to share it again out to over 3000 followers, people they may not have had follow them before. So they could, they're gaining a bigger reach and they're possibly gaining new followers on whatever it is that they're posting. Yeah, if you're a member of the chamber, again, that's complimentary. Eileen, did you have a question? I have a question. Is that free, the so social media sharing? Yes. yes. No, Eileen was clapping, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I know. <laughs> I'm so proud. It's been, a, it's been about it's been a, a year while, now. But thank you, I still have learned what everything is. So. But thank you, Eileen. And yeah, Gregory, yeah, just send me, I'll send you an email after this uh, call to give you more details about that. But yeah, if you're a, a member of the Merrimack Valley Chamber, that is a member benefit that's included with, with your membership. Another member benefit that's included is uh, I've had the pleasure of talking to Eileen and Shirley and Brian, and I'm sure a few other people on this call about our, our, our uh, virtual interviews. So again, just like we're here today through Zoom, we'll, we'll, can, we'll, give, we'll send you a link out through Zoom on the, the date and time that you select. Um, and we'll have an interview for 10, it's only 10 minutes long, 10 minutes of your day. We'll take that link, we'll put it on our YouTube page, we'll put it on our Instagram page, our Facebook page, we'll put it on our newsletter. And again, just a 10 minute interview, you're gonna tell me about your products, your services, who you are, why people should use you, a little bit about yourself. And again, for only 10 minutes of your time, you, you have that opportunity to con connect with other members um, that may not be aware of you. So if you're interested in, in scheduling interview, again, We'll, con we'll just contact us, say, how do I get an interview scheduled? I'll send you the calendar. You pick the date, you pick the time, and then we send you the link. And then, you know, it's a great to always, you know, connect with our members that way and hear about what they do. And then send that link out to our, our contacts and our members so they can hear about what you do. And again, that virtual interview through Zoom is free of charge for members as well. And um, I think, Michael, thing, just to throw out with that yes. too, is um, we've had a question on that regarding, we can also send you the link. So you can also put it on your social media, your yes. website. It's another way um, for you to get your information out there. No, that's a great point, Rand. Thank you. Um, another thing, I, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the, the chamber, we have a number of networking events, um, but just to go over it again, you know, we have events with uh, different leaders in the Merrimack Valley, whether it be local, state, or, or uh, government and federal government officials. We have um, a great women in business series where it's built to create those connections with a woman in business in the, in the Merrimack Valley, as well as hear from great speakers. I know Trish and her mother, uh, Trudy, have been uh, speakers on that in the past. We have our young professional series, which, which meets each and every month virtually right now. Um, healthcare, HR. Um, so whatever that you know issue is that you may be looking for, whether if you have an HR question, we have an HR group for you to ask. If you have a, young, you know, a question about young professionals, we have that group for you to ask. So it's again, making those connections for you. So you're part of that group, you're part of that community. It's not, you're just a member of the chamber and, and, and you know, you left the side. You're part of our chain, Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce universe, our community, um, when you're a member of the Merrimack Valley Chamber. And that's why we say, you know, come out to an event, let us know, we get to know you, let us introduce you to some people. If you come to an event also, you know, we'll, we'll say, hey, Bill and Armin, can you bring uh, Trish around and, and, and introduce you to a few people? You're not gonna be just left there saying, what do I do now that I'm here? You're going to have those people, you know, those great ambassadors and, and friendly ambassadors to, 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 to treat you like family almost. So I just want to mention that also. Um, another great benefit of the Merrimack Valley Chamber, you know, health insurance has become a, a big, big uh, problem for a lot of businesses. But we have a discounted member health insurance. We have a great person that works for you on that, and that is Andy Furman. So I'm going to have uh, Andy say a few words about that. Thanks, Mike, and uh, Happy New Year and welcome, everybody. Yeah, so, you know, talk about being relevant and topical, you know, as we're going through a major health pandemic, uh, one of the fantastic things about being a, fan, a, uh, a Merrimack Valley Chamber member is you have access to uh, some really fantastic health insurance uh, offerings, well over 200 different plans. I say that because you have a lot of choices. Um, you can get that through your partnership with the Chamber through their affiliation with HSA Insurance. And HSA has uh, been uh, the largest provider of uh, small business group insurance in New England for the last 50 years. Um, so you can leverage my expertise and my familiarity. Um, you know, Mike says, and Armin and Trish have talked about, you know, a friendly and familiar face. Um, I attend a ton of networking events. I'm on a lot of these calls. And um, in terms of creating that familiarity, I think when it comes to your insurance based products, whether it's health insurance or talking to Trish about property and casualty, whatever it is, 
having that familiar face that you can get to know, like, and trust is extremely important. And you build that through all of these member benefits, including your health insurance and your dental coverage. Um, so you have access to uh, the largest networks in the state, fantastic networks. I sit down, I help you, I bring a financial management risk management perspective to helping you in that offering. And, um, you know, we just went through open enrollment for individuals. A lot of people think um, that you're stuck with your plan for the next 12 months. Well, if you get individual coverage or if you get it through a large company, that's true. But if you get uh, your health insurance through the chamber, you have your own EIN for your own company, um, you know, if you sign up for your plan today and you don't like it tomorrow, if you're a sole proprietor, we, we have some options for you. Um, so we can help work with you, work with your employees and work with your group through the chamber benefits for both the medical and dental. And something that I offer to all my chamber members, um, we don't talk about this a lot, but when we talk about human resources, is whether you have five employees or 50, um, how do you manage that information? And something that I give to all my chamber members is, is uh, complimentary access to employee navigator. Um, so not necessarily a formal um, benefit, but when you work through the chamber for your health insurance and you come through me, that's something that I can offer you as well. Um, so reach out whether you uh, have any questions or not, you wanna take a look at your coverage or we can help you get those large company benefits through your membership with the chamber. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate that. Um, another thing I want to mention also, I'm going to go back. So if, again, first off, I just want to thank Andy, though, and just say if anyone's interested in learning more about health insurance, uh, you know, let, let me know. I'll make sure, you know, start an email with you and Andy, and Andy will take it from there. But, you know, it's worth, you know, just talking with them, seeing what's available, and seeing if it might make sense for you in your business. Again, it's included with your membership, the opportunity to connect. So um, if anyone's interested after this, you know, please send me an email, give me a call, we'll make sure to connect you with Andy. But thank you again to Andy. Um, the last thing I really just want to bring up is that, you know, if, you know, we, we've talked about a number of, you know, events that Mayor Mac Valley Chamber is having, and especially when we have over one, you know, generally over one event a week, it, you can't make all of them. So if you, if you're, if you haven't been to many events and you're saying, well, I, I'd like to do is want, go to one that really makes sense for me, just give me a call, send me an email and say, hey, Mike, I'm thinking about an event that I might be able to connect to X, Y, and Z type of businesses. I'll tell you the ones that you should go to. I'll tell you the ones that make, m might make sense for you. And that way, when you actually go, you'll have those opportunities to connect with the people you're looking to connect with. So um, if, you know, I, I say, you know, if you can't attend them all, attend them all, there's always going to be great opportunities for you. But um, if you can only make a limited amount of events, contact Ryan or I, and we'll tell you which ones make makes the best sense for you. So um, with that being said, do you have anything to add at all, Ryan, that I might have missed? No, I think you hit anything unless the members have questions. Yeah, I'd like to turn it over to our members now. Um, if there's anything I mentioned, yes, Bill. Hi everyone. I just wanted to uh, congratulate the uh, the chamber on the uh, what I think the fantastic job they've done uh, with connecting to the uh, state uh, health advisory people and and managing the the minutia of the the the, the changes of COVID over time. And, and just being a really good representative so that, you know, not all of us have to make the phone call to find out what the latest guidance is and what that means. I think uh, the chamber's done a, a stellar job at, at being an advocate for all of us and being uh, uh, in the forefront. And more importantly, uh, you know, you go to a mass.gov website, you know, it's hard to find any information. Well, they've, they've pulled out the, uh, the relevant information. So, uh, not not totally on topic, but I just wanted to, uh, since we're talking about the general benefits of the chamber. You know, I appreciate uh, that. I, I wanted to just say, I think you guys did a really, really good job. And that's that's an example of something you would never really think about and, and something we, we didn't ever really plan for, but th they were a great, uh, great representative for all of us collectively, and then uh, a great way to get information up to date and, and how it affects us and you know, I think you guys did a really good job. No, I really, I really appreciate that. And, you know, that's another thing I probably should have mentioned is from what I've heard from members is that, and I think the key is, you know, we've been sending out all these different advisories. Whenever we get it in, we usually get it first because we're the Chamber of Commerce and we, you know, we have a lot of state and, and you know, elected officials. 
um, that, that, are, that are friends of the chamber. Um, and when, once we get the information, we send it out to our members. And that what we hear from all of our members is that when it comes from the chamber, we know it's real. It's not a scam. It's not something I can't trust. It's something I need to take advantage of. And, and, and you know, I'm hoping in all my years in, in, in the chamber going forward, I never hear this again. But we heard that, you know, thanks to you, the chamber, our business was able to stay open because we were able to take advantage of these opportunities. So that is a great point. And the other thing I'll mention is that we also have connections with the Massachusetts Small Business Administration. We also have connections with the Mass Office of Business Development. So there's a lot of opportunities that are available to businesses, whether it be women owned or veteran owned or, or just small businesses in general that they're not, they're not aware of different grants, different funding, different you know, opportunities. So if anyone's interested in meeting with one of those people, they can meet virtually contact us, we'll, we'll, we'll start an email with you and our representatives from either the SBA or the Mass Office of Business Development, and you can talk to them about what you should be doing, what might be available, and what you may not be aware of yet. So that's, again, free of charge. Those meetings are free of charge, and there's a lot of opportunities, as I mentioned, that are just completely free. A lot of opportunities that are out there, you know, whether it be veteran-owned, a lot of opportunities they earned, a lot of women-owned business opportunities as well, um, a lot of, you know, minority-owned business uh, opportunities, but whatever it may be, you may just not be aware of it yet. So if you're interested in learning more about those opportunities to connect with you know, the, the Mass SBA or the Mass Office of Business Development, please contact me. We'll make sure to get you in on an email start today or as soon as you contact us and get you those uh, connections. Um, anyone else have any, we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions, if you have any uh, comments, if there's anything we'd be doing better, you know, please let me know. Yes, Brian. Morning. Um, for those of you who uh, don't know me, I'm the director of the North Andover Historical Society, and uh, we've been uh, doing a lot of work renovating uh, one of our facilities on Massachusetts Avenue, the former Merrimack Valley Textile Museum, uh, hoping to have that uh, up and running later on this year. And uh, we're looking to host events in um, uh, probably 2022 going forward. So if there's um, events, activities, chamber meetups, uh, other things that uh, you think we would be an appropriate venue for, I'd be very happy to, um, uh, to talk with the chamber or to talk with any chamber members about that. Yeah, definitely, Brian. I think that'd be great. You know, one thing also as a member benefit is, I, you know, I know I discussed this with you, but for those who aren't aware of it, is we also offer ribbon cutting. So, you know, obviously when you guys have your grand opening, we can't wait to be there with our big giant pair of scissors. We'll connect the, you know, the elected officials. We'll connect the media. I know we were there with Gregory at Experimax a few months back. I want to commend him again for opening during this pandemic. I think he deserves some credit for that. And uh, yeah, so that's an opportunity. And yeah, definitely, you know, we're, we are we are counting down, and Ram will tell you, as we talk about this probably once a day, we're counting on the seconds so we can have in-person events again. You know, you know, we're doing one a month, but, you know, to the to the maximum. Um, and we definitely want to have one at the North End of Historical yeah. Society. So we'll definitely keep in touch with that, whether it be a, you know, networking breakfast or networking at noon or, or an evening networking event. I think it'd be great to get people there to see about what the great things that you have to offer and also give our members another opportunity to connect. Very happy to be a part of that. Thank you. I just wanted to say too, um, seeing Ashley is making me think of this, <laughs> um, but a, a lot of things too that the chamber is good, is able to help you with is just those warm connections. I think back and forth, um, Ashley and I have talked since she joined um, and it, she was looking for specific types of connections and um, I don't know if they've had a chance to talk yet, but I know one of the people that I had connected to her is on the call. And it's just those, I think those warm connections help more versus than a cold calling. And I, Ashley, you can tell me um, if you agree, just one more thing. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. I think um, it's helpful. A, a lot of what, you know, I do is trying to support um, entrepreneurs and business owners. And so being a part of the chamber you know, obviously makes a lot of sense to be able to tap into that pool. And um, again, you know, at, for us as a nonprofit, we we're, try, we're trying to do this work, but just to get the word out there that we're here and we're wanting to help, you know, so many people like yourselves on the call. So it's been great. I really appreciate Michael and, and Rian. It's been, yeah, very, very helpful. Thank you. Does anyone else have any uh, questions or, or comments or anything you'd like to uh, bring up? Well, is that, yes, Eileen. I just have a comment. Um, so I'm with Miss Wood Events at Endicott College. So I kind of come to these events sort of with the hat of my department of Mr. Wood Events, but also for the college itself. Um, and, you know, we 
joined the chamber, I think, just prior to the pandemic. And so I just, again, similar to what Bill said, I mean, huge kudos to the chamber. Um, I cannot speak, you know, the college being an institute of higher education, we belong to multiple chambers. And, um, and Delia in my office has heard me, you know, get on my little soapbox and, and rave about the Merrimack Valley. I felt that you guys have been, um, you know, really trying the best you can for your member, uh, members and being in hospitality, we're very much about customer service. And I can't say enough about Rayan and Michael. I mean, offering, you know, to make sure that, you know, Eileen, did you know about this? And, you know, we had, you know, other people in other departments and yes, please let them know about that. And um, so, I mean, very welcoming. And I feel that, you know, you have been very forthcoming with a variety of different offerings so that, you know, if something didn't quite fit, maybe in a week or so, there was something that made sense for it. So, I mean, I just wanted to say thank you guys because you've been doing a phenomenal job during a very crazy time for businesses. So thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. No, thank you. We appreciate the kind words and you know, thank you to Rain for all the hard work she's put into this as well. And, you know, you know, I think one thing we realize as a chamber, chamber of commerce is just because business stops, you know, just because our office was physically closed at the time, just because we could stay home, we couldn't actually stop doing what we were doing. And, you know, you know, our members, you know, need those opportunities, but especially during that time, they needed an opportunity, especially to connect with other people while they were stuck at home also. So we just want to have opportunities available. You, we want to keep people's businesses growing and have opportunities to con continue growing during that time. We want the speakers to come out that were going again, that relevant and timely information that was more important then than ever. Um, so again, we just appreciate you all being part of us and, and you know, us being, you know, working together, I think we're all going to come out of this thing a little bit stronger, you know, when it's all said and done. So thank you. Does anyone else have any, any questions right now? Again, you know, you're welcome to call us or email us or, you know, uh, message us on social media anytime we're, we're here to help. As I mentioned, we're, yes, Greg. Um, I was just curious, uh, more question for Andy, uh, the benefits that you have to offer through the chamber, uh, it sounded like it was for employee benefits. Uh, is it also personal or how does that work? Yeah, so um, employee benefits, personal, uh, as, as few as one employee, sole proprietors. Uh, so you can, you know, really work, work the chamber benefits from the health insurance and dental coverage um, fairly well. So whether you're a sole proprietor, you have five employees, 50 employees, um, it doesn't matter. You can take advantage of, of those pooled benefits. And is it is it all through a group through the chamber and that's how it's like discounted or is it is it I'm not just I'm not really sure how that works, you know? Yeah, so HSA is the largest provider of private health insurance, uh, pr small business health insurance in the state. Um, they primarily work with chambers, so they're designed and they're working uh, specifically with uh, chambers, um, and they've had a long established relationship with the Merrimack Valley Chamber, um, predates me. I just started handling the relationship a little over a year ago. Uh, the prior gentleman um, for decades, I believe, Mike, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it's a long established relationship that you can uh, obtain member benefits through uh, the partnership with HSA. Thank you. You're welcome. And Greg, if you'd like to speak with Andy after the call, just shoot me over an email. I'll make sure I get you connected with them. So any other questions or comments, ideas, anything? Well, as I mentioned, you know, Rayanne and I are here full time. So we're, we're, we're happy to answer your questions. If you're interested in scheduling one of those interviews or doing a social media share or anything like that, make sure to let us know also. We'll be happy to, uh, we'll be happy to get that started with you. But again, again, I just want to re reiterate, we're here for you 24 seven. You know, if you ever need anything, let us know. If you need me to come meet on a weekend, I'll be happy to come meet on a weekend. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, we work for you. There are members of the Chamber of Commerce and, uh, you know, it's great to see, you know, everyone, everyone on these calls. We really can't wait to be in person again also. But, you know, if you're interested in, in taking advantage of any of those member benefits we have, if you ever have an idea for us as well, reach out to us, give us a call, give us an email, um, give us, you know, a message on social media. We're there to help you. And uh, if you ever need anything, just let us know. But again, I want to thank Trish again for helping put this together. We appreciate it. I want to thank Andy and Bill and Armin and so many others out there for the support of the Merrimack Valley Chamber. And uh, again, we look forward to seeing you soon. But thank you again for joining us this morning. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care.